Hello again, and hope you're doing well. This is Kenneth Wong, a Burmese American writer from San Francisco. In this episode, and this is the ninth one now, I want to teach you some Burmese words and phrases you can use to ask for things. Let's start with something simple. Suppose you want to ask someone, "Do you have books?" In Burmese, you'd say, "Sa ok si la." I'm going to break it down for you. All right, "sa ok" is the general word for book or books. "Si" is the verb for to have or to exist. Now, "la" is a question word. It's a word that you would throw at the end of a sentence to indicate that you're asking a question. I know in English you don't have to do that. In Burmese, when you're asking a question, you do need a word that indicates that you're asking a question. All right. So put it all together. Do you have books? Sa o si la. So let's go ahead and practice this one. All right. English first, followed by Burmese. Do you have books? Sa o si la. Do you have books? Sa o si la. Do you have books? Sa o Sheila, all right. Now I'm going to say it in English, and I would like you to complete it in Burmese. Do you have books? Great. It's sa o Sheila. So let's get a bit more specific, shall we? Suppose you're standing in front of a bookshop, you know, one of those curbside booksellers along Bansudan Street in Rangoon, and you want to know if they have works of fiction or novels in particular. How would you ask that? You would say, "What do you have, Sheila? Do you have novels? What do you have, Sheila?" I'm going to break it down for you. "What do" is the word for novel or works of fiction. "Sao" we have covered before is books. "Sheila, do you have?" Put it all together. "Do you have novels? What do you have, Sheila?" So let's try to repeat it a few times. "Do you have novels?" What do you have, Sheila? Do you have novels? What do you have, Sheila? Do you have novels? What do you have, Sheila? All right. So let me give it one more time in English, and you should complete it in Burmese. Do you have novels? That's right. It's what do you have, Sheila? We can go a step further as well. Suppose you want to find. Books by George Orwell or Hemingway. Then you would put the name of the author in the beginning of the sentence, like this: Do you have Hemingway's novels? Hemingway would do so. Oh, Sheila. I'm going to repeat it again. Do you have Hemingway's novels? Hemingway would do so. Oh, Sheila. Try this with me, and feel free to substitute your favorite writer's name in the place of Hemingway. All right. Here we go. Do you have Hemingway's novels? Hemingway would do so. Oh, Sheila. Do you have Hemingway's novels? Hemingway would do so. Oh, Sheila. Do you have Hemingway's novels? Hemingway would do so. Oh, Sheila. One more time. I'm going to give you in English, and you complete it in Burmese, please. Do you have Hemingway's novels? All right. That's good. It's. Hemingway would do so. Oh, Sheila. In Burma, just like in Japan, illustrated books or comics are quite popular. That's especially true among the younger people. If you're curious, and that is a cultural phenomenon, so you might be curious. And if you're curious and you want to check it out, you can go to a bookstore and ask for some of these books. The word for a comic book or a graphics novel, the equivalent of Japanese manga for Burmese, is. Carton sa o. Carton is obviously a word that is adopted from the English word cartoon. Sa o is the Burmese word for book, so carton sa o is an illustrated book. Now be very careful with the pronunciation cartoon. I know that the proper English pronunciation is cartoon, but in Burmese people universally mispronounce it as carton. That's why I'm spelling it with a u to indicate that. It's a slightly different sound, so if you ask for cartoon sa o, they might not understand you. But you say cartoon sa o, you'll definitely get that. Now that you have mastered the formula, let's go ahead and try a few other things. For instance, let's move on to 
looking for shirts and blouses. Now, the Burmese word for a shirt or a blouse is essentially the same. It's angi. Be careful with the tones, by the way. It's not angi. It's not angi. It's angi. Make sure that you get the up and down of the tone correct. It's angi. One more time. It's angi. So let's ask a store clerk if they have a shirt or a blouse. Do you have shirts? Angi Sheila. One more time. Do you have shirts? Angi Sheila. One more time. Do you have shirts? Angi Sheila. All right. That's pretty good. So I'm going to give you the English, and you should complete it in Burmese. Do you have shirts? That's right. It's Angi Sheila. Since Burmese is tonal language, the amount of stress that you put on the vowel, essentially the sing-song nature, or the up-down tones of the word, is important. So let me say this again: the word is "angi," not "angi," not "angi." It's "angi." The sound goes up first before it drops down. "Angi," okay. Just so that you can be a lot more particular about your choice of shirts or blouse, I'm going to teach you different words for colors. So here they are on screen. Let's try repeating it twice for each one. Okay? Red, a neon. One more time. Red, a neon. Blue, a piaion. One more time. Blue, a piaion. Here we go. Green, a senyao. One more time. Green, a senyao. Yellow, a wayao. One more time. Yellow, a wayao. And black, a neyao. One more time. Black, a neyao. Finally, white, a puyao. One more time. White, a puyao. You might have figured out from looking at the phrases and the words that "yang" means colors, right? So red color is a neon, blue color is a biao, green color is a senyao, and so on. All right, time to ask for a little red shirt. How would you say that? Do you have a red shirt? A neon angi shila. Let me repeat it again. Do you have a red shirt? A neon angi shila. Once more. Do you have a red shirt? A neon angi shila. All right. It's your turn now. I'm going to give you English, and you should do the Burmese. Do you have red shirts? Great. It's a neon angi shila. I'll teach you two more words for articles of clothing. A women's sarong is called tame, and a man's sarong is called baso. Let's go ahead and try repeating it a few times. A women's sarong, tame. Women's sarong, tame. Women's sarong, tame. Man's sarong, baso. Man's sarong, baso. Man's sarong, baso. Just one word of caution on the tones again. For men's sarong, the tone goes higher up in the n, so it's not baso. It's not baso. It's baso. Once more, it's baso. All right. Time to put the formula you've learned into action again. How would you ask for, for instance, a red men's sarong? Do you have a red men's sarong? A neon baso shila. Do you have a red man sarong? A neon baso shila. One more time. Do you have a red man sarong? A neon baso shila. All right. I'm going to let you do the Burmese. Let me start with English. Do you have a red man sarong? Good. It's. A neon baso shila. With this formula in mind, you should try out different combinations of shirts or sarongs or tamains and colors as well. For example, if you want to ask for a blue color women's sarong, how would you say that? 
Do you have a blue women's sarong? A Pyayang Taming Shila. Do you have a blue women's sarong? A Pyayang Taming Shila. Once more. Do you have a blue women's sarong? A Pyayang Taming Shila. Alright, so I'm giving you the English here. Do you have a blue women's sarong? Say that in Burmese, please. Right, it's a pyayang tameng shila. So, by the way, when you walk into a Burmese restaurant, you can use the same formula to ask for your favorite dishes. For example, you know by now that mohinga is the fish broth that everybody loves to eat. So, if you want to ask at a restaurant, do you have mohinga? How would you say that? Do you have mohinga? Mohinga shila. Alright, how about tea leaf salad, which you know probably is called la pet. How would you ask for that? Do you have tea leaf salad? La pet, she la. Or the kind of sweet milk tea that is made with condensed milk that is very popular in tea shops in Burma. How would you ask for it? It's called la paye. So, do you have sweet tea? La paye, she la. Let me teach you one last thing before I leave you. And I do hope that you don't have to use this word, but in case of medical emergency, it just might come in handy. The word for a doctor in Burmese is Sayawon. Let's repeat it. Doctor, Sayawon. One more time. Doctor, Sayawon. Good. So if you need to ask, is there a doctor in the house? Or just, is there a doctor? You would say, Seya Wan Shila. Once more, is there a doctor? Seya Wan Shila. One more time, is there a doctor? Seya Wan Shila. Alright, here's my English, you do the Burmese. Is there a doctor? Good, it's Seya Wan Shila. Alright, until next time, this is Kenneth wishing you good health so that you won't ever have to ask for a doctor on travel. See you later. Nam Madwime. Bye-bye.